President Paul May Weeks' inauguration comes less than two weeks after this country joined the rest of the world in celebrating International Women's Day. Her elevation to the highest office in the land was met with support and optimism by those who attended the ceremony. As the first person from this country to win the Miss Universe title, General Penny Kamisiang Cho was present when the first female president was introduced to the Republic. Needless to say, she was happy and proud. It's great for Trinidad and Tobago, and I think one really going forward has to say, will the best person please step forward, as opposed to it being gender, because, you know, it's still predominantly a very male-oriented society. So I think this now will sort of set the pace in terms of who is best for the job at hand. Another first, former Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa also expressed her elation at the Queen's Park Savannah. Being a woman is an accessory to what this job really de de demands, what it entails. So yes, being a woman, you will bring some uh, different skill sets, different competencies, and, and, and certainly a greater compassion and care. As a woman, you will bring those traits. But the job requires not just that. This is a job that requires far more, a commitment to country, a devotion to duty. Queen Penny was also impressed by the maiden address of the president. I like the fact that it reached out across the board um, and I like the fact that she was saying to Trinidad and Tobago, hey everybody, you have to step up to the plate. It's not just about her, but it's about everyone stepping up to the plate. Um, stop the complaining and step up to the plate and do what needs to be done. Mrs. Prasad Bisesa is looking forward to a time when she will be working with a new president. Yeah, I look forward to that, to work with Her Excellency as leader of the opposition, but certainly my party and many citizens of this country look forward to today when we can work with her side by side as president and prime minister. Ian Wilson, C News.